Hi, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to deploy a website built using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to a custom domain. So let's get started. So this website was built using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I want to take this website from my local laptop to a custom domain name where everyone can be able to access it. So the first step here is to purchase a domain name and a hosting account. Now to learn how to purchase a domain name and a hosting account, click on the link above. So you log into your cPanel. Now you can access your cPanel from your hosting account. Now from the cPanel, I'll scroll up to File Manager. So from here, I'll click on File Manager. And I have different folders here. I have a folder called demotutorial.yt, which is a subdomain name. Facebook.demotutorial.yt, which is also another subdomain name. Now to learn how to create a subdomain name, click on the link above. And in this case, I won't be using a subdomain name. I'm going to be using my primary domain name, which is my main domain name. And here, I'm going to click on the public underscore HTML file, which is the folder for my main domain name. So from here, my directory is empty. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to upload the zip folder of my website from my laptop to my cPanel. So this is the folder here of my website. Now from here, you can see the different files for the website. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to compress this file. Yeah. Now this is the compressed file. Now this is the file I'm going to upload to the cPanel. So from the cPanel, we click on upload. Now from here, we'll select the file. So from here, I'm going to select the zip file for my website. Now I'll click on open. Then this will take some time depending on the file size of your website. So my file has been uploaded successfully. So I'll go back to my file directory. So you can click here to go back. So currently, I have the zip file on my public underscore HTML directory. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to extract this file. So you click on extract. Now you can select the file parts you want the file to be extracted to. So currently, I'm going to extract this to my public underscore HTML folder. Now click on extract. So here I'm going to delete extracted file and also this folder. So I'll click on my website folder. From here, I can see the HTML file, the JavaScript file, and the CSS file that was used to build the website. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to remove all these files from the plants folder so that I can be able to access the index.html page directly. And if you don't remove this and you try to access your custom domain name, it will be showing the folder name of your website. So for me, I'm going to go to my custom domain name, which is demotutorial.yt. So here you can see the folder name of my website. So when I click this, it shows the index page and you can see the URL. And if you don't want the folder name of your website to show, now you have to remove all the files from your folder names and put it directly under your public underscore HTML folder. So to do that, I'll go back to my cPanel and I'll copy all these files. You can hold shift while clicking on each of the files. Then I'll right click. Now I'll click on move. Now you have to select the file parts where you want this file to be moved. Now currently, currently show me the website folder name. So I don't want to move it inside the website folder name, but directly under the public underscore HTML folder. So I remove the folder name and I'll move my files. So currently this directory is empty. So I'll go to homes. Now I'll click on the public underscore HTML folder. So you can see my files here are showing. So I'll delete the previous website folder name. And I'll confirm. So currently all my files are already showing directly on the public underscore HTML folder. And ensure that you have an index.html file because this will be the first page that will show. When any user tries to accept your website, the index page will be the first page that will show. So ensure you have an index.html file. So I'll go back to my website and I'll refresh the page. So as you can see here, my website is now showing directly under my custom domain name. So thank you guys for watching today's video. I hope today's video has helped you out. If you have any question, feel free to leave it on the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated with our latest video. Thank you guys.